Edge. Welcome back to Karma Live Readings. I'm Karma. I hope that you guys are doing well and I thank you so much for clicking on this video and coming to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. If at any time Sagittarius you resonate with this reading, hit that like button. Uh, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Cross watchers, you may need to flip swap and reverse the roles. I just announced my December giveaway on my Instagram. I do not post tarot on my Instagram, but I do a monthly giveaway every month for my followers. Uh, this month, I'll be picking two winners on December 31st, and the prize is a 30-minute reading from me. So if you're interested in trying to enter that, you can check out my Instagram page. It is in the description box below. All right, Sag. Let's see what messages come through for you. Sagittarius, please. You have the sun. The ace of swords. You have the eight of swords and the fool. And the Ace of Pentacles. All right, you have the Eight of Cups, the Hanged Man, the King of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the King of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Tower. All right, there's something here. A Tower moment. Ooh, with the Seven of Swords. I feel like this Tower moment actually makes you like you, you're, you're done with something. Like you get tired and you're like, all right, there is conflict between you and another person here. Could be a group of people, could be a group of friends, five of wands, but there's a lot of back and forth energy going on and you don't want to deal with it anymore. For some of you, this could have to do with work. Somebody's pride is getting in the way. Yeah, you're ready to walk away from something because you don't like, you don't like to feel chained down or bound up in some, especially if there's drama. Okay, why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? <laughs> the eight of cups. You're looking off into the horizon. Ten of pentacles. There's that tower again. Look. Somehow, maybe some of you are moving, but you like somehow your path was illuminated to you recently in the recent past. Or, like you saw something for what it is. Some of you could have been moving or there was a big shift and change that required something to leave and something to come in. Yeah, the hanged man. This left everything up in the air though. It's like a whole new experience, a whole new opportunity. I think it's just a struggle right now to see that what is happening is actually an answered prayer because it might not start out looking that way, but this is, whatever this is, it's meant to bring in, yeah, there's a lot of confusion. Goodness. So the card that flew out was confused. Um, confusion does not come from God so I feel like spirit is telling you to just be patient like something was put on pause or you had to wait for something because clarity was coming yeah you're breaking that's why it was a generational curse that is in the process of being broken and you might not even know where that's connected to somehow I feel like it's connected to a little boy Okay, that's what I keep seeing. So maybe you were the little boy, okay? Or it could just be your inner child. There's something here that has to be integrated inside of you, whether on a conscious or subconscious level. It really just depends on where you're at on this journey. Um, but a, a curse is being broken. So if something got paused or stopped and you're confused about it, is just because you're actually in the process of breaking free from something. Yeah, you need to detox and declutter your energy and space. Someone needs to take accountability. Do not trust them. There's somebody around you. It could even be that's what you found out. You discovered some form of truth and that's what puts you in a pause and had you confused. 
but whatever it was, it needed to be revealed. This truth needed to be shown to you or revealed to you about this situation or this person to help you break a cycle and a pattern that you were going to continue to go around in circles in. Yeah, control and stabilize your emotions. It's to teach you. You're also, you know, being conditioned. It's giving you strength and courage during trials and tribulations here. It's going to help you recalibrate your energy. Why is it, what came in with the Ace of Swords, please? For current energy, what's this Ace of Swords? For Sagittarius. The Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with the fire sign. Somebody's going to give you an ultimatum. And when they give you an ultimatum, it turns you off. Yeah. Oh, boy. I don't think they're expecting this either. Yep, the devil. Something happens. It's like somebody's going to give you... This, some, this Queen of Wands... Oh my goodness. There's some type of truth coming out. And it's going to put you at a crossroads and you're going to have a decision to make. And I feel like whatever it is, it comes off as somebody trying to give you an ultimatum and it makes you say no. You have the devil here too. So it could be a very tempting offer or an offer of trying to keep you stuck. Or blocking. What is this Ace of Swords? You may find out that somebody else had other options as well. You have no. Yeah, whatever it is, I, I don't, I feel like you turn it down. Because like I said, it comes off like an ultimatum. No. Yeah, this is not for you. Dang, heartbroken. It's not. So some men's here and you just make, you realize I don't, I don't want this. This is not for you issues with immediate family close friends heartbroken need to practice detachment give me one more please this is a reminder that you are loved whatever is falling apart it's to get you to the blessing that you've been working towards or praying for okay Certain things have to be removed before we can make it to that to that next level. Clarify the Eight of Swords and the Fool, please. Your challenge is crazy because I feel like your struggle is breaking free and taking a leap of faith with the fool but your struggle is also feeling stuck and trapped but wanting to work on something but this eight of swords man it's really got you stuck in some type of chokehold some type of cycle here that's preventing you from a new beginning what is this why is this a challenge Clarify. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. There's so much anxiety over this. You could be dealing with a Virgo or another Sagittarius, Leo energy. You're nervous about what this would mean. Because I feel like somebody here is thinking about breaking free or needing to, to walk away from a situation. Because there's a lot of anxiety. Yeah, the past is holding you back. You must release. Spend more time with children. Could even be your inner child here, but for some of you, it's your own children. You are a star seed. So things are being illuminated to you because you're on a path of ascension, of growth. You're going to a new level. And there's somebody here that is trying to hold you back. You could also have issues with child support or custody issues here, but it says somebody's being found out. Their lies will be exposed. This could be somebody in your close friends too, all right? You are breaking cycles. Your outcome is the Ace of Pentacles. There's a new promising opportunity on its way. For some of you, this could be a new job opportunity as well. 
is definitely a financial opportunity that I feel is, is coming in. So this is an opportunity that's going to bring stability. Yeah, four of wands. All right, four of wands. So there's something new coming towards you. Could be a new commitment, a higher level of commitment with somebody new. Yeah, king of cups. Wow. Ace of wands. Be careful, though. There's a tempting offer. There's a tempting offer that's coming towards you in spirit is saying, put it to an end. You may have more than one option here, Sagittarius. Ace of Wands, Seven of Swords, and we have the Devil. Just be careful. Really make sure that you don't repeat a cycle or get yourself stuck in, in something. Tell me about this, please. Patience is needed. You are not crazy. You are just awakening. Yeah, repeating cycles and patterns. I feel like you're going to recognize that somebody else is repeating cycles and patterns and you're going to put a stop to it. There's also this person or situation is unstable. Somebody here is getting cheated from child support. Like there's money fraud going on. So I don't know who needs to look into that or there's something here with abundance fraud money fraud somebody's taking from somebody and it's mm -mm. this person is extremely unstable they're jealous of you they want a family with you how bizarre is that people don't know what they want all right let's get into this here Closing messages for Sag. Come on. Grounding. You're being asked to ground yourself. You've been spending too much time in your head and it's time to pay attention to your body and to the earth. Go outside and plant your feet on the ground and enjoy the centering feeling that it brings. And then you have connect. You're being asked to connect with others in meaningful ways. Sometimes it's helpful to get new perspectives and to simply be around other people. You're in need of this right now and deep connections will benefit you in many ways. All right, so some of you, you're needing to ground, you're needing to be outside in nature. I know that it's cold out, so obviously putting your feet in the ground for a lot of you isn't gonna work. But being outside, um, sun gazing, stargazing, all of that stuff is so beneficial um, to our energetic spiritual body. But also Spirit is asking you to form deeper connections with people um, because it's going to help you right now in healing what you're needing to heal and, and seeing what you need to see about this cycle or pattern that keeps playing out in your life. All right, Sag, I'm sending you guys much love and happy birthday.